South Africa. I feel so bad when I see the state of the nation politically you are in. You are busy fighting other people, they get out of your country, they go. You tell them to go where? You cannot do anything. You don't want to work. You don't want to participate. What you're looking for is free money. I'm asking you one simple question. Where will free money come from to feed you? You see foreigners are taking your jobs. Black people. Let me ask you one question. Today, if you take a South African passport and, as a black man and fly to New York, they will not categorically exempt you because you come from South Africa and say they give you special treatment. They'll say, it's a black man. You need to go through the tension of the black man at a goes in America. They will not say that you're South African. They'll say that black person. Same situation happens here. You need to move around. You don't move around. You don't travel around the world and see what other peoples are exposed to. If you go to European countries as a South African, they don't tell you you are South African. They tell you that black person and you're subjected to every single humiliation a black man goes through the airports and all those social amenities for the white people. So there's nothing special about you black people in South Africa. Xenophobia, it will not give you anything. Don't blame black people for the mess your country is in. Ask the white man and his policies he implemented to oppress you and subject you to the torture you are going through for the solution of your problems. People of the color from other parts of the continent, they don't owe you anything. It's your failure to fail to implement the Freedom Charter fully, whereby a white man is supposed to leave South Africa, go to the country of origin where he came from, you take his land and subdivide amongst yourself and start farming. If you don't do that, you always be in trouble. When you see a black man coming to South Africa from other parts of the continent, these people, they come with diverse mentality. They are not seeking jobs, they are entrepreneurs. They invest their mind, they invest the environment, they look at what they can do and then they make use of it and then they grow their minds. What about you? Check there. Any, I don't know, check there. It's it. Check. Black people don't owe you anything. And you should not be in a position to say they owe you anything. They don't. It's your reasoners. It's your lack of thinking. It's your lack of exposure. It's your lack of primitivity. It's your lack of exposure. It's your lack of enlightenment. It's your primitivity and backwardness that is implanted in you by the system that is making you believe people from other parts of the country, but other parts of the continent, they owe you anything. They don't owe you anything. What do you gain from killing another black man because he is selling on the street? A space you claim is yours and when your municipality gives you that space, you don't make use of that space. You want to sit at home and tell the government to feed you and give you free money. From where? It is taxing who? It is taxing the white people, the working class, so it can feed you, you person of color who doesn't want to work. You want to bring mother Africans for your mess miseries. This is not tolerable. We cannot tolerate this. It's not tolerable. Wake up. Stop sleeping. Stop diffusing your anger with African migrants. I'm not saying that people should not be in the should, should, should be in other people's country or regions illegally, but I'm saying you are oppression masters policies they are the ones you need to look at through your political system not black people who are here for political economic reasons because of the nature of the their country of origin think before you act ask questions formulate measures and policies you have the laws and a good constitution that can be able to address your problem don't take law into your own hands. Start killing black people for no apparent reason. What did they do to you?
You're so stupid. You're so foolish. You're so thick. It shows how awkward and backward you are. Before you act, think and ask questions. Ask questions. That job you are claiming they take it from you, when they give it to you, you don't even do it effectively. And you claim they are taking jobs from you. If today, how many did I hire? And they messed up my work. Today they get a thousand dollars or a thousand rands. Next week they will not come to work, they will start applying for the sick leave. They want to go and see their boyfriend and girlfriend. What kind of state of people are these? I hate this. This is not good. Let's be positive. Let's encourage one another. Let's have ideological beliefs. Let's have ability to understand and formulate measures that will take us to the next level. Not disorganizing us and making us look like we are not people who are mature enough. The country is beautiful. You have the resources. You have effective leadership. You have the effective governance. But why are you dividing amongst yourself to offend other people for no apparent reason? If you go to a place like America, like where I was, you will be surprised. Go to Mississippi State. As a black person, any movement you make suspiciously, they are stopping you and searching you and asking you so many questions. You will not be able to answer. You will just ask yourself, why did you find yourself in this situation? These are the things I'm talking about, you black people in South Africa. Man up. Gender-based violence st statistics are skyrocketing. Why should that be? Have you ever heard of any black person from other part of Africa fighting their families, members, killing, murders, all these things? They result from broken homes and lack of proper understanding on how community should understand and interpret and behave itself. We need to open up and have these debates and discuss why should we be in this state. This is ridiculous. I don't even tolerate it. It is something that needs to be understood effectively and be openly explained for other people to understand and bring in their views and then we have a solution to this problem. What you're doing is long, South Africa. Stop hating black people. Stop self-hate. It will not add up well. It will not at any one given time produce any good reasonable results. Ask yourself questions before you go and burn that shop. Ask yourself questions before you go and, and kill that black man. Ask yourself so many questions before you go and arrest that person you claim is an foreign. Ask yourself so many questions. Look at the back of your mind before you act. This is so ridiculous. I hate it. This is my own personal opinion. I'm angry as a black man. I have traveled all over the continent. I have seen how people live. It's only here where people are hated for no apparent reason. In other regions or parts of the world, they want to know who are you, especially in black-oriented uh, regions. They will greet you nicely. They will have respect for you. They will be able even to encourage you to stay in their, in their country. They want to know more about you, but here is self-hate. Why? Think twice, people in South Africa. Stop doing this. Not all are bad, but those few elements in the society who are claiming they hate other black people. I'm sorry for you. I'm sorry. Anyway, hit that subscription button and give me some shares. I'll come back.